Hello everyone, the difficulty of installing the native Google GMS on Huawei mobile phones is relatively much bigger than installing the Google GMS in the virtual machine. And it also has requirements for the system version of the mobile phone. The method that I will share with you today is to install Google GMS in the way of virtual machine. This method is suitable for all versions of Huawei mobile phones and tablets with EMUI 10, EMUI 11, EMUI 12, Harmony OS 2, and it also brings a big surprise function. If you like to watch YouTube videos on Huawei phone, then this feature is absolutely big benefit to you. Well, let's move to my Huawei phone. Let's go. Okay, welcome to my Huawei phone. This method works for all kinds of uh, Huawei phone model and uh, EMUI version, Harmony OS version, because we are using the virtual machine to load the Google GMS. So this uh, v uh, VMOS Pro I just installed from uh, in, into my phone. Let's click that, have a look. This is uh, just an app. And you can see this is my real phone here. Right. This is my real phone, and uh, I already opened the VMS Pro, and you can I can switch between my real phone and my virtual machine here. Just very easy. Click that bubble here. Click that bubble, and here you can see this is my virtual machine. So in the virtual machine, I can use YouTube. Click that YouTube, then we can play the video here. So it's very useful. You can see, and and I will now show you the surprise function. Is we can go back to our, our real phone and it still keeps playing, you can see, you can still hear the sound, so I can also close my screen, so you can see uh, the YouTube is still playing, so this function is very useful if you want to save power, to uh, save power and uh, you can listen to the uh, YouTube videos, no need to open your screen, just uh, off your screen and you can still hear the YouTube video. So this is a really surprise functions if you're using the virtual machine in, uh, uh, in, in your mobile phone and uh, you watch the YouTube videos uh, in your virtual machine. And I also tested the Gmail. It also works in the virtual machine just like your local account. So it's very useful functions uh, of the uh, virtual machine. I go back and I already also tested the maps in the virtual machine. So you you just give the uh, authorities of this uh, virtual machine here, like this one, and uh, click that one, long time click, and go to the permission here. So you can give the location permission, allow all the time, give the VMS the location authorities, then you can use the uh, Google map in your virtual machine. So very easy way. And you can also use the Play Store here, click the Play Store, and uh, you can search and find the apps you want, like Facebook, click that one, then you can install the uh, option or the apps you like in the virtual machine. This is a very e easy way for you and suitable for all kinds of uh, Huawei phones, including the tablets, the ta ta uh, including the pad and the mobile phone, all models, all series and uh, all kinds of EMUI versions, how many OS versions, okay? So I will now uh, uninstall these apps and uh, to reinstall, uh, to show you how to uh, use that, okay? So I can click this bubble and uh, go to this one and I click that bubble, then you can see shut down. I can shut down this virtual machine and I can uninstall this virtual machine. Click uninstall and uninstall. So that's all. This is uh, just an app and uh, I clearly uh, uninstall this app, then I can reinstall to show you how to use that. Click the browser from the internal uh, browser, I click that browser to open the browser and open the web address vmos.com to download from this uh, official website and uh, click, we don't need to click this two button, we click that other version, click other version and I will put this uh, web address down below this video description then you can click the video click that link to go to this official website to download that okay open this website and click other version click other version and click download here the VMS Pro version 1.0.3 this version and we click download click download to download click the download bu button click download and click 
download. Just waiting for several minutes. There's a um, APK size around uh, 700 megabyte. Just uh, be patient and uh, waiting for the finish of the download. Okay, we finished the download and automatically it will pop up for you to install. I click allow and click install to install the VMOS Pro. Okay, I finished install this uh, VMOS and we go back to desktop. You can see it's already installed. Then we can click this VMOS. And some instructions here. Swipe here and choose the ROM. Some instruction and click this blue button, enter VM, VMOS Pro. And give some authorities, click one click authorization, click that one. And set up now, click that one and give the draw over other apps. Switch on and go back. And allow only while in use, click that one allow to access this device location. So I will recommend that allow all the time if you want to use Google Map. Allow all the time and allow uh, record, recorded audios. Allow while in use and uh, allow. Okay, then some in introductions here, here. So we need to uh, choose the one with uh, Google here. You can see the ROM 7.1, which has uh, Google GMS. So the second one, this second one with the uh, Google GMS. So we will add it, click second one, add. So now the room is installing. We were just waiting for several seconds. Okay, we already get into the desktop of the virtual machine and some instructions here. Click that one, click that one. Click that one, click this one, and this one, and this one. Okay, then we will need to manually uh, open the Google GMS to activate it. Click this uh, button, VM setting here, and you can see Google service. We need to switch it on, switch it on, and confirm to switch, activate the Google GMS. Click complete. And we needed to restart the virtual machine. Go back and yeah, click the bubble, click the bubble and click shut down. Okay, I click I know you can see this uh, virtual machine here and click that one to restart it again. Click this uh, play button. Okay, now we get into the virtual machine and we go to the drawer here. And you can see the Play Store is in the drawer. Then I will move it to the desktop. And now we can log on to this Play Store very easily. Click the Play Store and uh, we can sign in, use your Google account. Okay, we click sign in. Then key in your Google account. Okay, then uh, click next. Key in your password and click next. Click I agree. And back up to Google, switch it off, more and accept. So you can see uh, I already logged into the Google uh, Play Store, then you can search for the YouTube to install the app you want. Okay, click install. Okay, finished the installation of YouTube, then we click for the Gmail. Yeah, and click install the Gmail. Okay, let's go back to desktop. And uh, you can see that YouTube and Gmail, both of them is installed. Let's open the Gmail, have a look. Open the Gmail and uh, click got it. And you can see my account already there. And we go to take me to the Gmail. Okay, so you can see that uh, you will get an uh, email that, uh, that your phone is logged in with a simulation. You can see, so you, uh, this uh, um, virtual machine will simulate 
your Huawei phone to the other phones like my uh, simulate to the Oppo K9s. So it will uh, simulate this uh, phone model as the Oppo K9s, Oppo K9s to using the Google GMS to uh, using Google, uh, uh, Google Play Store. So it will simulate your phone, your Huawei phone as the Oppo K9s. Okay, so let's open the YouTube. Okay, perfect. It works. So, uh, if you like, you will um, install other applications yeah, how you like. Then we can go back to the real phone, and you can very easily to switch between the real real phone and your virtual machine. Very useful bubble here. So, you can use all the apps from in the virtual machine here. Okay, so if you like my sharing, don't forget to thumb up and subscribe the channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.